Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the Divine Feminine Reading. We have the Mashin update going up on the channel now, um, so we'll have a link to that in the description box below um, as soon as it is ready. Um, so make sure that you check out both. Um, and really do please make sure that you check out both or all the readings. Um, a lot of messages come through during all the readings, whether it's a Union Energies update, the Masculine update, the Feminine update, or the um, Divine Partnership update. Even the Daily Energy Draws has a lot of information with regards to Union, regards to Partnership, with regards to Ascension as a whole. Um, so don't, don't miss out on those. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of a different setup. I am in my office office, um, where I was doing my readings before, the setup I had before um, was in my attic, which was a little bit of a sacred space for me. It's where I do my energy healing, it's where I do my readings, um, but it is way too hot up there, <laughs> so we have kind of switched things up a little bit for the foreseeable future. Um, so we'll be um, doing, when we're working inside, we'll be doing the readings here. So I hope you like it. Um, okay, so what are we doing? We're doing the Divine Feminine reading. Um, the Divine Masculine reading was incredible. Um, so make sure, really do make sure that you check that out. The energy is amazing. Um, if you guys are questioning where your Divine Masculine is, just keep having faith. Um, just keep, you know, the 3D is, you cannot rely on the 3D. You just can't um, because it's not the truth. The, the 3D isn't the truth of the situation, um, or it's not the entirety of the situation, I should say. You really have to go within and, and feel what's there and and just, you know, trust yourselves. Trust what you feel in your heart. Now, take the 3D, respect the 3D, respect what is being shown to you, respect where your masculine is at the time, um, because that is what they're saying to you. That is where they are at the time. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't stop having faith or that you can't stop trusting yourself for this connection. Um, things are always shifting in this connection. Things are always changing. Energy is always changing because you are always changing. You are always transforming, especially when you are working on your own healing, especially when you're focused on your own growth, your own life, your own self-love, which is the most important part of this journey, your own spiritual growth, your own evolution, your own self-love, filling up your own cup, because as within, so without, we have been saying that from the very beginning, as within, so without, you have to fill up yourself first, you have to love yourself first, you have to come to a place where you are happy within yourself. And then as you create everything within yourself, as you merge in those higher vibrations and, and, and evolve into those higher vibrations, then you start to see the effects of that on your outside world. And everything that you could ever want becomes manifested in your outside world. The outside world, the physical world, the 3D world, is just the effect of the cause of all the work that you do inside. And that work is all about self-love, all about the self and your own spiritual growth, your own spiritual journey. And your divine masculine is very much a part of you, very much a part of that. That is the divine sacred connection that you have with one another. Nobody is ever saying, don't love your masculine, don't want this connection, don't try to manifest this connection, don't believe in this connection. But you have to fill up your own cup first. It's like on an airplane, um, you have to put your mask on first if you want to save everybody else because you're not going to be any good to anybody if you are out of oxygen yourself, if you're struggling to breathe yourself, if you're suffocating yourself. You have to fill up your own cup with self-love. And then what happens is it's just a circle. It's, you know, you can't love another person unless you love yourself. You can't love yourself. Without loving, without loving your counterpart. Like, you're two parts to one whole is how they had always channeled it to me. And, you know, as you fill up your cup, then you just love your Divine Masculine that much more. And you welcome in the love from your Divine Masculine that much more. You allow yourself to believe in that love from your Divine Masculine. You allow yourself to receive the love from your Divine Masculine because you are in a state of allowing, because you are in a state of self-love. That's what self-love does. It opens you up. It opens up your heart. 
to both give and receive, and it's 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 the um, infinity sign. It's the constant state of flow to and from and to and from a constant state of flow, giving and receiving, and that is what this union energy is. That is what harmony is. That is what balance within this connection is. It's a constant state of give and take, ebb and flow, and that's complete reciprocity. That's complete balance. And that's what you're moving towards. But you have to continue doing the healing work for yourself. Okay. So check out the Divine Matchling reading. It was really incredible. Um, all about awakening. All about um, moving the connection forward. All about having, you know, released a lot of the karmic, the toxicity. And, and just forward momentum. Both of you having wished upon a star and seeing that wish manifest. Wanting that wish to manifest. Both of you. It's beautiful. It was really beautiful energy. But we're going to focus on you, Divine Feminines, and see where you are in this connection. So let's just, um, what we're doing, we're not doing a spread. We're just getting um, just cards. We're just going to pull cards and see what messages come out. So Spirit, what do you have for the Divine Feminines? Where is the Divine Feminines in this collective at this time? What's going on with the Divine Feminines at this time, please? What's going on with the Divine Feminines at this time? Okay, I'm going to start with this. Um, we have the Ace of Swords, and the immediate energy that I got was one of victory. Divine Feminine stepping into her power, speaking her truth, speaking with clarity, standing up for herself. Now, this could be standing up for herself with regards to others in her outside world. This could be standing up for herself with regards to her Divine Masculine. I know that, that you know, if you listen to the Divine Masculine reading, I've kind of um, done that with my Divine Masculine, both of us having done that. Um, but this is victory. This is this is freedom. You see the, the hawk here, the eagle? This is freedom. Both of you feeling this. Both of you feeling this. Both of you feeling like you are soaring through speaking your truth, through expressing yourself. Standing up, having more clarity on the connection as well, I'm hearing. So some of you might have been getting some communication. Um, so you're having some more clarity on the connection, whether that's from communication from your divine counterpart or whether that's communication from your uh, spirit team. You're, you're having some kind of clarity on the situation, possibly even looking at things from a higher perspective and seeing things with fresh eyes, seeing your connection with fresh eyes. Um, but it's a sense of victory. It's a sense of freedom. A sense of victory here because of the truth that is being shown. The truth that is being shown and the truth that is being spoken now. You standing, I just, I'm getting the, the, the feeling of you holding the sword in your hand and just launching it into the air in victory. Expressing yourself, not being afraid, not holding back anymore. Not being afraid, not hiding yourself anymore. Speaking your truth. And it's, it's what they're giving me is Speaking your truth in the moment when it needs to be spoken. Expressing yourself in the moment as it needs to be spoken. And not waiting, not holding back, not hiding. This is victory. And this is giving you a sense of freedom here. Because you are opening up yourself. This is your true authentic self. You're feeling free because you're not hiding behind masks. You're not hiding behind illusions. You're not hiding behind societal conditionings that have forced you to play it small. This is you in all of your divine glory. This is you in, in your divine feminine power. That's the freedom that you have. That's the peace that you're feeling within you. You are standing strong in who you are, and you're not taking any bullshit. You're not taking any bullshit beautiful it's just powerful it is this is this is warrior energy this is warrior energy this is priestess energy high priestess energy so far beyond empress energy priestess energy warrior energy it's almost like wonder woman this is almost like wonder woman energy amazing queen of pentacles feeling very grounded um, I'm hearing one with the earth, one with nature, very, it's earthy energy, pentacles is earth energy, um, but one with earth, one with nature, feeling one with all is what they're saying, feeling connected, some of you might actually be working out in nature, um, or maybe going out in nature more, spending more time, in, communing in nature, I just heard them say, communing, communing, 
if I can speak, communing in nature. <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Um, this is very grounded energy. Knowing your value, knowing your worth. And it's almost like you're, you're grounding that energy now with this knowing your worth. You're speaking your truth. You're speaking up because you know your value. You know your worth. And you're grounding that here. It's almost like, so the divine feminine can, can get very high in the, into the higher realms. Um, very, a lot in their head, a lot in their intuition. Their crown chakra is like wide open. So they, they, they tend to stay there. They tend to stay in their, in their mind space, tend to stay in their intuitive space, um, in the spirit realms. This is them pulling down and grounding that energy in the physical 3D plane. Um, very stable, very secure energy. Worth, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and grounding that energy, speaking, speaking that truth, speaking that energy, coming from a place of just more stability with your emotions, with your thoughts, with your physical life, your, your 3D life, your work-life balance, your heart, I'm hearing as well. Just much more grounded, stable, secure energy. Power. It's just this is you. And in, in, look at how regal she is. This is just you and your queen energy. This is just you in your, your glory. This is you in your... On your throne, with your crown, just regal. I, I, that's just the word that he's giving me, just, just regal in your power, secure in who you are. The high priest. Give me one second. There's a high priest here. I'm getting divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy here. So what's what's the high priest here for? Um, okay, so I'm not gonna take these. I just heard um counterparts. So the high priest, this is um you standing in your power, very secure, very grounded. The high priest, um It's, it's, you see, they, they keep pointing me to these, to these, and they keep, I'm trying to get more messages, and they're like, well, just look at the keys, just look at the keys. Um, the key here is feminine energy. You have the moon, you have the stars, feminine energy. Here you have the sun, masculine energy. They just keep saying counterparts. This is a counterpart. So your divine masculine really awakening to his higher self. Okay, thank you. That's the message that they want to come through. <laughs> They're like, you you, you would have got there if you just listened to us sooner. That's my stubborn nature. What can I say? So it's interesting. So we had been channeling this message for quite a few well, months at least um, where the divine masculine energy, and now remember, you hold both masculine and feminine energies within you. And what I had actually channeled months ago was the masculine energy within you is actually your divine masculine, as in your counterpart, because you remember your counterparts, your, your one soul. You're one, one soul that was just split into two bodies. So you hold the predominantly feminine energy or you hold the predominantly male, or I'm sorry, masculine energy, not gender specific, it's just energy. Um, but the divine, the, the, the masculine energy within you is your divine masculine. It's the masculine energy. And so I don't know if that's, if I'm going to actually make that clear, if that's going to, if I'm articulating that well, but I'm going to put that aside for now. So what we had been channeling was the masculine energy is very grounded energy. They're, they're the, when you think of the chakras, they're the lower level chakras, very rooted in the physical 3D world, in the material world. The feminine energy is really anchored into the higher realms, um, into the crown chakra, the brow chakra, the throat chakra with communication and expression of self, really rooted in the intuition, um, really connected to the, the spiritual realms. Now, you need all the chakras to be balanced, right? You need all of them to be functioning and balanced um, to feel that peace and that harmony within you. You need both the masculine and the feminine energies to be balanced. So what happens is the masculine energy rises, the feminine energies 
comes down from the higher realms, bringing that 5D template down. The masculine energy grounds it in the 3D plane so that you're bringing that heaven to earth. And what happens is you meet in the middle. You meet in the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. What they had channeled to me was the bridge. They had said, meet me on the bridge of the heart. And that is where you meet, and that is how you manifest into your physical 3D reality. You manifest through the heart. You manifest. You, you meet on the bridge of the heart. And then you manifest, and that love, um, your heart chakra just opens and expands through that love. And spills out into your physical 3D reality. And it's not 3D physical reality that you had before because this is a new template. This is a new template of love. Bringing that 5D template of heaven down. Uh, 5D and above, higher dimensions down. This is going like 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th dimensions, like higher dimensions, higher levels of spiritual, uh, spiritual realms down into the 3D, into what you can tangibly see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Because everything in your outside world, everything that feels tangible like this desk is just frequency. Even this is just energy. This is just energy. Everything is just energy and frequency. And so what you're doing as you manifest, you manifest energy. You manifest frequency into the 3D tangible realm. And so what, this, what they're telling me here is this is... It's almost like this is you coming into balance, both of you coming into balance because you both have to balance out your energies. So this is the divine feminine coming, becoming more grounded in herself. Remember when we said she was really high up in the, in the 5D? This is her coming down and really grounding that energy. Here is the divine masculine kind of rising into their intuition, rising into their spirituality, rising into their knowing. And you're meeting with this truth in the middle Meeting on the bridge of the heart, feeling free, feeling at peace, feeling at balance, speaking your truth, knowing who you are. This is a sword of, of knowing, a sword of truth, um, knowing who you are, the truth of who you are. Okay, I hope that makes sense. That feels convoluted. I, I don't, I'm not in my conscious mind when I'm channeling, so that, that felt very convoluted, so I'll have to watch it back and see if that was clear. And what do we have here? But we have the high priestess, and oh, we have the lovers. Yeah. The high priestess, yeah. This is you, divine feminines, in your spiritual power, in your intuition. This is your divine feminine power. This is so far beyond empress energy. This is you and your true divine feminine energy, your true high vibrational divine feminine energy. And what we have here is the match, the high priest. But you're both, now what they're giving me is a message of you're both grounding this into the physical reality now. You're both taking what you have learned, what you have learned, the truth, the clarity of this connection, what you have learned, how you have evolved, how you have grown, you're both taking this now and you are grounding this into the physical plane, to this physical 3D material earth plane, pentacles being one of physical manifestations. So this is divine feminine, this is divine masculine, now you are grounding this relationship, queen of pentacles, this relationship, the lovers. You're grounding this relationship to a higher level of commitment, higher level of relationship, higher level of partnership. This is union energy brought into the physical 3D plane from counterparts in the 5D, from the 5D here. Now you're bringing this down into the 3D because you have been standing in your power because you have been speaking your truth, because you have been balancing your energies, because you are finding freedom in this connection, you're no longer attached like you once were from that 3D paradigm, that societal conditioning, that attachment energy. You're no longer feeling attached. You're both feeling free to love each other. Free to love each other. Because you're loving yourselves. It's no longer that neediness. It's no longer that clinginess. It's no longer that it's, it's not that desperation, it's not that need that so many relationships, it's not, okay, thank you, it's not that codependency, that was the word I was looking for, it's not that codependency, this is a freedom, this is loving from a place of truth in who you are, truth of this connection, truth of, 
of knowing what love really is, what unconditional love really is. You have set yourselves free. You have set yourselves free. This is almost like the sword and the stone energy they're giving me here. You have pulled that sword, that sword out of the stone. You have freed the sword. And by freeing the sword, you have set yourselves free. No longer feeling attached. And because you're no longer feeling attached, you can love each other more deeply, more fully, more unconditionally, and bring that down into a physical relationship. Beautiful. All right, what else do we have for the Divine Feminines? Divine Feminines, you've been doing your work. You have been doing your healing work. You have been transforming this connection. Okay, the energy that I'm getting here, we have the moon, and I want to show you this card, and we have the fool. The energy that I'm getting here is, and that's why I wanted to clarify it with another card, is there's still some shadows that are being illuminated for the Divine Feminine. You're still, you're still, I mean, you're in a constant state of evolution, but there, there's still some, I'm getting the energy of fear here. It's almost like Nine of Swords energy here. But the reason the moon came out, they're saying, is because... The moon being divine feminine energy, you're in your power. You don't have to be afraid. So, okay, so let me start over. The energy that I'm getting here is you're still kind of facing your shadow sides. You're still kind of facing some fears, especially with regards to this connection. Um, you're afraid of the new beginning. There's a new beginning and you feel it. You know there's a new beginning. But it's almost like you're afraid to take that leap of faith, especially if your divine counterpart, as your divine counterpart comes forward, because of the past. The past is kind of like a shadow for you. And what they're actually saying is you are in your power, so you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. You are shining light on all of this fear. You are shining light on all the shadows. You are in your power, willing to do the work. And, and you see how she has that, that light in her hand, the fire in her hand? That is guiding you forward, so you don't have to be afraid of this new beginning. Because it is a fresh start. It's a zero point. It's a zero card. This is a complete new life. This is a complete new you. This is a complete new masculine. This is a complete new beginning. And they're pointing me to the dog here. The dog being one of loyalty. So you don't have to be afraid anymore. You're in this together. You and your divine masculine will be in this together, going forward together, on this new journey together. But you both have to take a leap of faith now. You both have to take a leap of faith. Put down the baggage is what I'm actually hearing. Put down the baggage. You don't need it. You have all you need with each other. But yeah, um, still they're showing me the wolves here. Still some shadows that you're facing. Still some fears that you're facing. So I want to get some more. I want to get some clarifiers on that. Let's get um, what's going on with the divine feminines. What's what's with the moon card? Clarify the moon, please. Yeah, I'm going to take that as well. Um, so we have, yeah, Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Um, we got the Ten of Swords for the Divine Masculine as well. Um, in that deck, it's, it's interesting. I wonder if I can, let me see if I can, yeah, good. Um, the energy that I was getting from here is the Ten of Swords isn't really in his back. It's just a shadow. It's just a ghost. It's just an illusion. It's not even in his back. It's just a false belief. It's just a story that he was replaying over and over. Here, it feels like you've really been betrayed. Here, it feels like you've really been, um, you, you have been, I mean, I'm not saying that you haven't. You have truly been hurt. You have truly been, um, you know, however it is with your connection, whatever transpired within your, your own situation, you know, this, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. But, and, and so the swords are in your back. But it's a 10 number. You can take the swords out. You don't need them anymore. It's over. It's done. That is in the past. This feeling left out in the cold is in the past. And you see how there's this one like winter blossom, the snow blossom that's blooming through the cold, through the, through the snow, through this tundra. And all these pentacles are on the tree, even though everything else is barren. 
trust in this connection. Put down the burdens. Pull out those swords. That is in the past. It is done. It is over. It is done. You can have this new beginning. You don't have to fear anymore. You don't have to fear the Knight of Wands. You don't have to fear that Playboy energy, the in and out, the hot and the cold. Know that when they're coming forward, they're coming forward with true intentions and coming forward with passion. And sometimes that passion, I'm hearing, sometimes that passion can feel, can make you, because they're feeling so overwhelmed by their emotions and they're feeling so passionate towards you, that can trigger some feelings of fear for you is what I'm hearing. It can trigger the feeling of, oh my God, is it just repeating the same cycle? Am I going to get hurt again? Is it going to be more hot and cold in and out? Because the passion can be so overwhelming. Um, so it can be triggering some old feelings of fear in you, but they really want you to put that aside because you have the new beginning here. You truly have the new beginning. And look, he's holding the flower in his hand, just like here. He's holding the flower in his hand. So know that this is a new blossoming. Know that these pentacles here, these are like the seven pentacles. This is all coming to harvest. This is all coming to fruition. This is blooming for you, being manifested for you among the tundra among the frozen winter, you have something new blossoming. So you can step out of the cold and into the warmth of this connection now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid anymore. Let's get some more. I, I feel like let's get some more for the divine feminine. What else is the divine feminine experiencing at this time? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are a little bit afraid of the heartache of the past, and it's preventing you from believing fully in your Ten of Cups. But you can have your Ten of Cups. You have to pull out those swords. You have to bandage that wounded heart. You have to believe in this connection. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. If anything else, you have to heal for yourself. Bandage that up with some self-love, with some self-care. Believe in your own future. However that manifests for you, believe that whatever it is that you want to manifest, this is what I call the rainbow of manifestation, these ten cups here on the rainbow, whatever it is that you want to manifest, the universe is bringing to you. But you have to let go of the past. You have to let go of the past heartache. You have to let go of the illusions. The moon is all about something secret. It's all about hidden things. It's all about illusions. The things that go bump in the night. It's your own mind. It's that knight of swords energy. It's your own mind that's causing that anxiety and that fear. Don't be afraid of this anymore. And, and I understand it because it's very difficult, especially when there have been patterns and cycles and in and out energy, hot and cold energy. It's like you see them riding forward and you cringe. It's like it triggers something in you. It's like, oh my God, especially as they're riding forward with so much passion. Like there's a lot of passion in this card. You're like, oh my God. Is it just going to be more in and out energy? Is it going to be more hot and cold? Am I going to get hurt again? But they're saying, put that down. Put that down because he's riding forward. Your masculine is riding forward because he wants this Ten of Cups with you too. He wants this Ten of Cups with you too. And a message is coming forth from spirit. Regardless of your divine masculine, you are worthy of this Ten of Cups. So bandage your heart for yourself. Fill up yourself with self-love. Heal yourself for self-love because no matter what your divine masculine is doing, this is for you. Your abundance is for you. Emotional happiness and satisfaction and wishes fulfilled, wish fulfillment is for you. This is for your life regardless of where your masculine is. Focus on your happiness. Focus on your ten of cups. What is it that you want for your life, for your best life? What will make you happy? Focus on yourself, and no matter what the masculine does, no matter how they come in, it'll be a new beginning for you, for you and your life. And your masculine, as they come in with this new sense of stability, they're just going to add to your happiness. They're just going to add to your happiness. Okay, Divine Feminines, let's get some Romance Angel cards. See how you're feeling towards your masculines. What do you have to say for your masculines? Let's see what the energy is here. You guys, we're going to have um, a special intimate reading for the union energies that's going to be going up as well. I didn't stick to the schedule. Um, like I said in the masculine reading, I was very drained this week. There's a lot going on personally for me. Um, so I wasn't able to stick to the schedule with the readings on Monday, but that's why we're having everything going up 
on Wednesday. Um, and then on Friday, we're going to have the Divine Partnership reading, which is going to be a very in-depth reading. Um, and we're going to do things a little bit differently for that. So I'll announce that on Friday as well. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe. This is resonating with you. Okay. Okay. Um, love yourself first on bomb the deck. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All about self-love. That's what we've been saying. Love yourself. Fill up your cups. Wish the best for yourself. Want your own happily ever after. Your masculine can very well be a part of that. You can want your masculine to be a part of that. Um, and they very well might be a part of that. But you have to want happiness for yourself first. And don't take no for an answer when it comes to your own happiness. You know, manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. And just live your best life. And your masculine, you know, as they're meant to come in, as they're meant to be there, they will be there. They're... You know, we're the cake and the icing, and they're just the cherry on top. <laughs> they're just the cherry on top. So what we got was reconciliation and children. Someone from your past returning to your life. Yep. Yep. <laughs> right there. For the new beginning. And you see the passion in this card? Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. Now, don't accept it if it's the same old bullshit. That's part of speaking your truth. That's part of being in your power. That's part of that freedom for yourself. You have the choice to say no if it's the same old bullshit because you want this happily ever after for yourself and you don't want the bullshit. So use discernment. However, also don't block yourself from this. Don't let your fear tell a story that is not true if it's not true, if it's just an illusion, if it's just an illusion. Shed light on the situation. Shed light on the situation for yourself. Um, so reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You're wanting this reconciliation. They're wanting this reconciliation. You're both wanting this new beginning. Then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, this could be actual children um, that you have or your divine counterpart has or that you share together. Um, this could be something that might be... Um, Something like a fear that it could be blocking this connection, that could be rock blocking this reconciliation. Um, but know that that too is an illusion um, because children can bring you together. So whether, you know, you need to work through that as far as your own healing or their own healing or you need to communicate with one another, have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself to really dive deep into what is blocking you with regards to, to children, what's keeping you from fully trusting with this connection. Um, I feel like that's for a small segment of you guys. Or have communication with your divine counterpart as far as what their concerns are with regards to children. So that could be for a small segment as well. The um, greater message that's coming in is inner child healing. There could be some inner child wounding as far as false beliefs that were picked up with um, on during childhood with regards to love, with regards to this connection, with regards to expressing yourself, with regards to expressing your love. Um, so that could be affecting this connection as well. So really, um, it's, it's this moon energy. Really, um, really, really, hold on. Really look at the shadow sides of yourself. Okay, so another um, uh, message is coming forth. They just showed me the eclipse. So we have some powerful energies coming in. We just had the summer solstice. We just we have um, two eclipses coming up. Um, so it's going to be lighter energy, but it's coming from a place of healing. So it might feel heavy, but as you go through the healing, it's going to bring about lighter energy. It's going to bring about balance. It's going to bring about more harmony for yourself. You're going to feel better through this healing. It's not going to be like the grief. It's not going to be like the purges of the past. It's going to feel different. The healing this time is going to feel different is what they're saying. And so there, there's something about the eclipses shedding light on the situation, shedding light on blockages, setting light on challenges, um, setting light on um, things that still need to be healed, especially with regards to the past. could be also past lives I'm getting, um, but I'm also getting something with inner child healing, uh, false beliefs, things that were picked up on, how you were loved or how you weren't loved as a child, something with regards to that. So um, 
so that's something to look into as well. Okay, I feel like I want to get I feel like I want to get one more card for you guys. Okay, I think I want to get the angel answers for you. Nope. It just said lover's oracle. Okay. So we will do what we are told. <laughs> Um, what does the Divine Feminine need to know with regards to this connection, Spirit? Oop. That's too many. Let's just get one. What does the Divine Feminine need to know with regards to this connection? Something flipped out. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Here, um, what I'm getting is less focus on the physical world and most more focus on your internal world. So if I have any Divine Mashlin's, um counter-watching, this might be resonating for you as well. I feel like that's a message for Divine Mashlin's as well, if, if you guys are um, watching as well. For Divine Feminines, though, they're saying place less of an emphasis on the physical 3D world. That's releasing control, they're saying. Less of an emphasis on what you can see or taste, touch, and smell. Less of an emphasis on the tangible. Um, because the tangible will manifest, they're saying. It will manifest. But keep going within. Keep going within. You have to go within in order to manifest. In order to manifest. This is also a message they're saying about leaving the past behind. Because you don't take anything with you but your memories, because you don't take anything with you but the love that you share, you have to leave the past behind. You have to leave all the karma. You have to leave all the toxicity. You have to leave all the fear, all the fear of being left out in the cold, all the fear of being left behind, all the fear of, I don't think we have it. Do we have the, the heartache? The fear of the Ten of Swords, um, any betrayal, any any past pain, leave that all behind because it's almost like this is we're entering a new world. We are entering a new world, and so when you pass, okay, so when you pass from this world, this level of your evolution into the next, and we have been channeling for a while, we're we're moving through a doorway to the next level of our evolution. You cannot take the past behind you. You have to leave that behind in order to have this reset, in order to have this reboot, in order to have this new beginning from the level of transformation, the level of evolution, the high vibrations where you are now. You're leaving a lot behind. The only thing that you can take with you is your own love, truly your own love, your own self-love. And so leave the past behind if you want this new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. This is a new start, not just with your physical relationship. Leave the physical relationship where it is. Go within. Trust it within. Okay. They want me to clarify that. Not leave the physical relationship where it is, but leave what was in the past in the past with regards to how your physical relationship transpired in the past. Leave that behind because you're starting anew. You're starting fresh. You're starting over. So take a leap of faith into this new beginning, into this new world, this new vibration, this new phase of your own evolution and this own uh, ascension journey. All right, we are going to, I was just called to pull the top card here. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Um, that might be a message for some of you. I was called to take that, so that might be a message for some of you in order to heal the pain of the past, in order to step forward into this new beginning in order to have the confidence to step forward into this new beginning. So trust that you are still constantly healing. Um, imagine both of you healing the pains of the past, setting the heartbreak aside so that you can have this new beginning and this reconciliation, this relationship, and this Ten of Cups. Your every wish fulfilled, including this relationship, this harmonic, beautiful, divine partnership. 
All right, you guys, that is it for the Divine Feminine reading for this week. We'll be back next week with another Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine reading. Stay tuned for the special intimate reading for the union energies. We'll see how you guys are relating to one another. And uh, then we'll have the Divine Partnership reading. So stay tuned for that as well, where we'll dive deeper into blocks, challenges, um, how you're feeling about each other, how you're thinking about each other, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for all that coming up this week, including the daily energy draws. And we'll be back. Sending you guys so much love and so much light, and we'll see you soon.